In this session, I will show you how ZooClick works. I will give you a live demonstration on how to communicate with your teammates while you need to be in curfew and work with them remotely. And I will also show you how to get notifications from Zoho CRM to Zoho Click. Let's begin. Click. Let's click on Zoho Click. Very nice. And this is the interface of Zoho Click. Now, just so you know, you don't need to go to Zoho Click in order to use it. Okay, you can use Zoho Click from any Zoho application, and I will show you how it works in a second. But when you go to Zoho Click, you can click on the different conversations that you had, and you can see them, right? Like any other Skype or messages, whatever it is. Uh, you can click here, and then you will see that you are able to have an audio call or a video call or share your screen with some other person. Now, you can use Zoho Click as a one-on-one -on -one tool or for a group. Let's assume that I will have here the sales group and only the sales group members will be as part of this specific channel. You can have your contacts, of course, and you can have bots. Uh, we're not going to deal with bots. This is a very basic session, so let's continue. Uh, as you can understand, if I will send something to my other chat, which is a different screen, Okay, I will get it on the other chat and whenever I will respond to it, I will get it here. So that's a basic chat, okay? Now, if you will go, let's take Zoho CRM as an example. If you will go to Zoho CRM, on the bottom of the screen, you can see all your unread chats which means whenever you will click on the chats, you will see all your existing and past chats. You can see all the channels that you are subscribed to and you can see your contacts. So everything is available on the left bottom of the screen. And that's available also in, uh, in, in most of the Zoho applications. The idea is that you can, com can communicate with your uh, teammates or your customers, as long as they have a Zoho Click account, you can do that as long as you are on a Zoho application. And if you have Zoho One, for example, or Zoho CRM, most of your day you will be on Zoho. So, you no, know, it makes sense that it will be on the bottom screen. Now, let me show you uh, something very cool. Let's assume that you like to connect Zoho CRM with your Zoho Click in order to get notifications. I will show you exactly how to do it. So if you, you like to create the integration between Zoho CRM to Zoho Click, you will need to click on the setup icon. Then under Marketplace, please click on All. In the search, please search Click. And the first option will be Zoho Click for Zoho CRM. Please click on the plugin and then click on install. Scroll down, click on install again. Whenever the installation will be completed, you will see uh, an icon named Click under Marketplace Zoho. Click on Manage. And in your case, the plugin will be disabled. You will need to click on Enable. And then you will see here a message from Zoho CRM that's saying, thank you for subscribing. That's it. That is how you integrate Zoho CRM to Zoho Click. Now, in case that you will have some problems and it will not work for you exactly how I showed you in this video, please call Zoho and they will assist you. Let's see how it works in terms, of, in terms of the workflow. Let's assume that I like to create a workflow that will send me a notification when a new lead arrives to my system. Because whenever you will have a lead coming to your system, there is a chance that the same person applied for another four websites. The first company that will communicate with the lead we'll have higher chances to convert this lead, okay? Let's create the rule. The module will be leads. 
the name of the rule will be whatever you want. And I will write here send, click to Lior on a new, new lead. Okay, and next, you will need to select here on create, which means whenever a lead is created, you will get a notification. I will run this rule for all the leads. I don't really care where the lead came from. I like this notification all the time. And here, when it, where it says notify, you will select via click. Now here you will need to write the message, what message you want click to send you. And I will write here, you just got a new lead call him fast and I don't want to waste time so I will also have here the phone number and the person name so if you click here on the number sign it will give you the variables and I will select here the first name the last name and the person phone number and the person mobile I will select here to notify specific user, which is, uh, let's say, this user, and I will create save and save. And now, when I will create a new user, let's uh, duplicate Beyonce, just, just so we will have something to, to play with. I will clone it, and now when I click on save, one second, let me just close everything. Now I click on save, and now you can see that this is showing me that there is a new message. When I would click here, I will see you just got a new lead, calling fast, Beyonce, and I have here both phone numbers. I can also click on view record and then it will open the screen on Zoho CRM. Now, if you work remotely on a cell phone and you have a mobile phone, for example, you will get this notification also to your mobile phone. Whenever you will click on view lead, it will open the Zoho CRM application with the specific lead. Crazy. Now, the only disadvantage of what I just showed you is that you need to create a workflow for each specific salesperson because this is not dynamic. If you need it to be dynamic, I can uh, do it for you. It takes about one hour, which is an hour, around $100 and then we create a custom function and this custom function will send a, not a notification based on the lead owner. So this is also something that we might do, but if you have a small team, you probably don't need it and you can use what I just showed you. Now, one more thing about Zoho Click, which is very, very cool. There will be lots of cases that you like to keep the information secure. Zoho Click is secure and also the intellectual property that's running through the channels are yours. Which means if you're using Skype or you're using other platforms, there are some of them that the intellectual property will not be yours because you're using their platform. So just, just know about it. Another thing that is also important to know regarding Click Let's assume that you have employees, the communications that you run with them will have your customers' details. Probably you want to keep that inside the company and that means whenever the employee will not work with you anymore, you will be able to turn the license off and then this employee or past employee will not be able to access the information anymore. So you protect your clients. So the bottom line, I think that Zoho Click is a phenomenal system. I highly recommend you using it. I will continue to create more coronavirus uh, remote sessions to try to help you cope with uh, working remotely. If you like the session, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you like to get more tips, tricks and craziness, I will see you in the next session.